Welcome, Final Fantasy Randomizer fans, to the Lafanian ladder match between Woo Bear and Fry Teeth. My name is Davey Knock. With me in the booth today is Ozlato, doubling up on our restreamer dues, and our tracker, Ghost Pirates. Ozlato, what are we looking with with these parties and Larson? Oh boy. Davey and we have quite the entertaining evening ahead of us tonight, but we'll start with what we have on screen. Two fighters. These fighters come with elemental magic plus 80 gold pieces and hurt undead. The thief on Wu Bear's side has the wood armor plus fighter sword and improved cat claw. Red mage plus 20% hit plus life magic plus 10 lock. The white mage equip axe 25 agility 20 m death. Black mage gets tell magic equip shield and resist earth and poison. I should note that this is a three bonus no malleus type of seed and well, my 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 there's a lot of changes davian why don't we start going through the changes well let's see the scaling for enemies that that goes up to 300 percent if i remember correctly you are correct uh it's a 32 shard shard hunt sure with is. the bonuses based on items 10 percent per item rather than shard collected like we had for the tournament earlier this year uh, noticing they have five things already because uh, they've got the canoe, the ship, the canal, and the bridge. Oh, and the floater with the airship. Mm -hmm. Because we have an entrance and floor shuffle on sure top do. of all of this with deep cities. Sure do. It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be interesting to watch. I, I will say that much. Um, the alt fiends are turned on. Sorry, not the beta versions. Um... There is a Fight Bahamut, a Shuffled Astos. Save on Game Over is turned on. Very important to note. What else do we have? The Masa and the Ribbon are the only two incentivized items out there. Let's see, yeah. It's life 1, Life 2 in Battle. Both work. Power Word set at 300. And... You have to wonder how these runners thought this was going to be around an hour-long seed. We have our fingers crossed. Well... Knowing these runners, it's totally doable. That's this, the this thing. This is for the title. This is for the current or, uh, champion's rung on the Lafanian ladder. That's right. Wu Bear is defending his crown once again. Fry Teeth is the challenger. Fry Teeth set, the, set up the seed. He gets to take on and see if he can get the win. This will be... Uh, this will be interesting. They, uh, yeah, if Righty claims an hour, this is why I'm in silver and not an opal. <laughs> now, do you think that thief with the wit evade, fighter sword, and proof cat's claw is the right choice for Wu Bear, or do you think the, fi a thief ra or the fighter rainbow is the better go? That is a bit hard to say. We're just going to sync our runners up here. First thing we got, Canaria is guaranteed to be Canaria, so they have level 1 gear, but uh, that was Toaf instead of Canaria Castle. I think they're happy to see that sooner than later. And Absolutely. Temper and Warp, Heal 3, Invis 2, and Exit. Wow. Um, yeah. Your cup runneth over. But that uh, Exit not being available for the Red Mage does suck, but hey, Warp works for both Red and Black for Wu Bear. Sure does. And the hints are turned on. The loot is in Lafane, wherever that might be. Very nice silver plus six. And they do have um, the price scaling set a little strangely here. They actually went with anywhere between 30 and 250%. So you might, you might see some really cheap stuff here. Honestly, 1930-something for those houses is not bad. Not bad at all. Look, it's a garland. And we see that the fighter, that's your only sweeper spells. Me and Wu Bear going in with a bunch of long swords and chainmail plus six. That is that's really good stuff. That'll work on your red maids, that'll work on your fighter, if you thief, the, the yeah. The chainmail is an underrated piece of gear, at least can be considered it. Sure does. We should note that the weapon blursings are plus two to plus eight. So is the armor. You will never see a negative arm. You never see negative armor or negative weapons in this seed. Right, he's finding titans in Toph. Well, that's not good. Going to the right, finding the sky maze, Matoya's cave. 
And so far, he's he's doing good. Fry Teeth does it correctly. Double left and up. And finds Crescent. Oh, avoiding the magic shops. Oh, Woo Bear, unfortunately. Going to the right. Matoya has chime. Fry Teeth has a rod. The old men had a walking stick. Yes, they did. It's Sarda's walking stick. Makes you wonder what Sarda might have. It's in Provoka. Yeah, a lump of metal. Dead end. Provoka, dead end island. Oh, dear. Yeah, the dead ends are shuffled in. Fry teeth. Let's look at ice. Mirage. Okay. That's a lot of really powerful early encounters and yep. pretty fast encounter off the first run. So ah, there's oh, our. We have no trap tiles, by the way. So those overworld encounters or in dungeon encounters, those could be very valuable. So that X Gal plus seven is going to be very valuable too. Now we should note the X boxes that you see. They contain shards. They are guaranteed shards. So there are 32 X boxes in the game right now. You know, Fry Teeth. Play. X marks the squash right now for Fry Teeth. But save on game over is on, so he just walks right back in. Doesn't have to recheck any boxes. Has the X Cal, has the Opal. There's what he wants to see. Garbage. Blue Bear not checking the chest, just going straight for what he can get. Finds a Gershark in the one he does. Okay, that's not bad. Ice! Okay, well, as you know, ice will always be ice. We don't, uh, the devs were kind enough to not loop it. As there's we no trap have tiles. Warp and exit magic, but yeah, as you said, yes, no trap tiles. Ooh. So they can just watch right down sun plus that's five. five. That's huge. And with the. And what do we have? A sandwich. Delightful. And it's dead. Thin sandwich. Very much Extra fun. thin cut. My favorite. How can it be so juicy despite being so thin? Ah, that is the secret of the sandwich makers. Woo Bear out after the fight. Re er, healing up. About to dive back. Gold plus three. That is armor for ribbon. the casters. Plus a ribbon and a light axe. Not only is that light axe a good... El or caster for uh, harm too. That light axe is actually wieldable by the white mage with the plus axe blursings. That's not even a light axe. That is a lit axe. A lit two axe. That's even more useful. Well, not anymore. Uh -huh. Elemental damage. But that sun sword. That, that sun sword's going to do a lot of work. Oh, never mind. Oh, that did, sword it, is actually totally wieldable by the thief for Woo Bear if he needs to throw it there. Sure is. Right teeth, meanwhile. Out and gone. And we should note that the only dungeons that are incentivized is this one right here. Sky, the sky is vanilla, and sea is vanilla. All other dungeons are not incentivized. Now, my question here is, is that eye off of a hard reset for Fry Teeth? Because if this eye is juicy and it's a first encounter... It's something to remember. It's an eye off of a death. So, no. Ah, dang it. Yeah, well, he's only level 10 because he did find that great XP box. Having those initial five items plus the rod, that's a 60% gain on experience already. So, that, that can make it up. And the bottle, there's another item. Yep. Now they just have to figure out where the heck, uh, where the heck... Guy is. Well, there's Tia. Oh, they found Tia, too. Nope. Fighty says, no, thank you. Not, 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 not required. Note it. Note for later. And move on. Potential Bridge of Destiny grind. Could happen. Uber. Ah! Oh, hello, Carrie. Gee, all the fiends coming out to play today. Two fiends found in the first circling of the outer, or of the inner sea. That is, that's, you only see that every day. Okay, we're back in sky again. And another sky floor. Ooh, metal slime. Gets away. You got fire two on that fighter, but that's the only sweeper you have to do any damage. Lit axe. Again. Actually, that's two lit axes, so. That is. You could take those metal slimes. That's right, Phoenix. All your fiends might belong to us. The question is, what fiends are they? All fiends are turned on. No, sadly, it is not the beta fiends. But they're still in beta. It's Does just... Fry Teeth go down for the one chest? I don't know, but that was. 
flame plus eight armor. That is a thing of beauty there. Yeah, warp out of there. You you want that? Oh look, bottom of marsh. Not useful at all. Phoenix, the gear it's got is some chess, but hmm, the yeah. gear is set to plus two to plus eight. No negative gear. Blue Bear actually checking more than the incentive chess. Meanwhile, Fry Teeth diving in past Ice Two into Volk Three, I believe. Into or is that five and finds Earth Armory. Yep. Which is worth a look because I mean, if you see X boxes, there's one. And there's no trap tiles. Oh, never mind. That's a fast bonk. You want that. You definitely want that. Yeah, sun sword swing three hits gets the damn sting. That's annoying, but not an instant death spell. Fast bonk, but you get two lit casts to go off of this. This is a totally winnable fight. Absolutely. Wu Bear gets his bonk. Or sorry, gets his bottle. Still, ch oh, finds another Xbox. Oh, yeah, right. 22 damage off that hit. That red mage staying alive happily. <laughs> Wu Bear finding a useless kind of grind. And just burn down. Burn down. Another shard for fry teeth. Those levels definitely scaling and packing on quick. Whew. Not going to continue checking the rest of the boxes, though. Fry teeth is out and going. Fry teeth is a. Fry teeth knows that uh, Wu Bear is the champion. He knows he's going to have to play this. As quick as he can. Oh, we're back in Volcano again. The fun thing about the Pacers <laughs> and Entrance of Flora Shuffle, and we find our third fiend. It is the Earth Fiend, whatever is whatever in it its is. place. Taking all bets as to what it is. Remember, this isn't the giant pool. It's only the, it's only the originals. It's not, sorry, it's only the original. Bear picked up a harm shirt. No, sorry, Phoenix. They didn't turn the beta. This isn't on the beta. Yes, Bubbles the Murderer, we can all go there. The carbonation is real now. And we have... Leviathan! Well, that's great, they have lit axes. Ooh, and doesn't hit... I suppose they have a plus eight set of armor on, I mean... Swing! Six hits for 475. Yeah, this... This, this isn't gonna last long. And it uses ice. Here. Bye, Leviathan. We'll see you again soon. Orb lit, and meanwhile, Wu Bear is checking the Earth bottom floor. First chest in the first room finds an X chest with some uh, sharks and whizzags. Burgers. Fry Teeth finds a card. Yeah, finds a ribbon. Wow. Jeebus, what did you roll them? This is this is three fiends found in the first rotation of the inner sea. Two ribbons, two, two X cows have been found. Sun two sun swords. What? <laughs> did you roll extra ribbons? No. No. I, That's what? all three ribbons found. That's all three. There, there are. There is. Yeah. Um, I, my, my, yeah. bleh, bleh, bleh. But, but the thing is, one thing that we haven't found is any towns for magic. Other than Corneria, nice. we, we haven't found any magic, which means this is not bad. They found Corneria Castle. Okay, get some items here. Should they get the key? Should they get the herb? Still have to find Elflin now that they got that. So they find dwarves. Ooh, there's only up to 20% more scaling. Oh, here's Matoya. That's no, don't have it. But it's an Xbox. What do we got? Ugh. Sorry, I'm not a fan well, of this. The light axes or the lit axes could do some damage, but it's not a frost casting spell. That's the, that assumes that they survive long enough to get it all to get those spells off. Don't underestimate how much damage so even a little bit of water can do. Oh, waters. I have lost runs in Temple of Fiends Revisited to ambushing waters. They are nasty. I don't hate them as much as I hate airs, though. Airs are worse. All right, well, Fry Heathens, what that is, and says, ah, I'm good. 
Let's go see what's in her. If it turns out to be Kraken's floor, I will just... I, I would just shake my head. Mm, well, currently that's the Hall of Dragons. Did we enable the ho dangerous Hall yes, of Dragons? Yes, no? we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. That's why I said it. Because it's on. <laughs> oh, it's Lafayne. Come on. You're there. Loopa Loopa. Just, just do it for us. Well, no, he's looking for that Never right mind. there. The Superstore. All right, you got level two ruse. What? That's not bad. White level three. Life and harm three. Yep, you want both of those. Level four. Lamp. I'll take. I take mute. Cure four. I'd definitely grab. Unfortunately, not learnable. By the red. Ooh, Wu Bear picked up a katana plus three out of the Earth Armory chest just wow. now. He, and that was missed by Fry Teeth, but he does have a pair of Sun Swords, so. Meanwhile, Fire three at level three, Cheap two, Saber as well, which could be useful. There's Fast at level four, with nothing else of note. We got in level five. Nice three, fire three. Okay. I have to make up to get the charge to play all these spells, but he's got the money to stack up, and not even checking six or eight, seven or eight. It's just going. That's one of those things. Exiting out, so he doesn't have to deal with the dragon hall. Let's go see who's in Sardis Cave today. Is Wu Bear going to check the low chests in Earth? Yes, he is. Is. Oh, look, there's Kraken. You happy now? Yep, that's all four fiends found. Meanwhile, Woo Bear finding another X chest. Mox. Yeah, whatever. And there's another. There's another seafloor. But remember, they still need to find the loot and they still need to find the key to get in. Which at this point is either going to be something in Mermaids. Or it's going to be an NPC turn-in. Ooh, peds. Fun. That is the other incentivized location, which is mermaids. Correct. The robot, too. Everything else is NPC turn-in. More volcano floor for Wu Bear and gets onto the earth floor and will fight the Leviathan. Oh, I don't expect this fight to go long at all. Transpeeds, they just move their legs in wiggly wiggly fashion to entrance their enemies. Well, now I'm thinking about that, thanks. Alright, well. So, we're gonna swing with Wu Bear with that sword. Ooh, yep. Goodbye, Leviathan. All right, both of level 17, 16, that's not bad. These peats, however, just don't want to go anywhere. They have a pain. Trance doesn't help. Wu Bear gonna grab himself some short sword and find his ribbon. Some cash and the rest of his great stuff. So Wu Bear has the higher levels at this point. Now there's another Excal. How many of those do you want? Two Excals, two Sun Swords, three Ribbons. Without leaving the Inner Sea. Or at Fry least the initial continent. Fry Teeth did say this was going to be an hour seed, so I wanted to prove him right, I guess? And actually, that's three oh. Excals we've now found. Hey, Gur Imps. That, that's, a, that's a box you'll take. The box you're not worried about. It's always nice to see both entrance and exit to Titan's tunnel. Just, you can just ignore it. Oh, volcano armory. Lots of chests and all one are all in one place. But yep. none of the main boxes are exits. No, looks like this is this might be a bust. It's like literally only one <laughs> box oh, oh my god, there's a fourth ribbon. Yep, and there's an incentivized ribbon, so Yeah, there's still one out there somewhere. No, I don't know why it does this. 
So what we're saying is we should have just seen them take four warriors. Yep. Or two thieves, two warriors, because the warriors or the fighters had elemental sweepers. Then they could have promoted to have twin Excals and sun swords on thieves, and then the thieves have your black magic, the knights have your white magic, and at least we found a town. We have Gaia, or uh, Onrek, I should say. It's one of those seats where you really, really wish that the uh, Black Knight and White Ninja were turned on. No, no fry teeth, that flag isn't on. Ice mid floor <laughs> into C mid floor. Oh, sorry to just move two sh two two streets over. This better not be the the key. Okay, it's crystal. I'm okay with that. Uh, back to Matoya's. Back to Matoya's we go. Well, at least he knows where it is. Yeah, they moved closer to each other. Uh, I'll stand by the concept that are uh, that. Uh, Sarda and Matoya are actually divert are actually divorced, and they live on different continents to uphold a, uh, a I, uh, restraining yeah, I'm okay. order. I'm, I'm okay with this. Just like Tiamat and Bahamut. Tiamat okay. got the castle in the sky. Bahamut stuck with the treasury in the islands. Oslo has an explanation. The reason why we're getting all this great gear is because the flag sets are set to randomized treasure, randomized high wealth. So it's going to give you A tier stuff all the time. That's why the Sun Swords roll are so good. That's why you found X Cows. That's why you keep finding ribbons. Yep, high wealth removes some gold chests for legendary and rare equipment. Okay, I think well, that's a more than fair trade. Friday did say he wanted a sub hour seed. He's probably going to get it. We have a chun from a toya, so now we have access to get into the tower, depending on what it is. There Meanwhile, is once again, access to every entrance in the overworld. Yes, but uh, water is doing their thing that you hate them doing. Yep, right that, teeth that's, learning. That's what I said. Waters are a pain, and this is the problem with not finding. You know, you have decent magic, but you don't have the ability to use it. Yep, cube lock. Right teeth does not have cube. Crescent Isles relatively fast to check and often very interesting things found. Yeah, I have Cardi is a great spot to go if you you know it's the winter tournament it was a it was a boon for most runners. Oh Woo Bear, don't don't fight those waters please. They're just not fun. Just didn't remember he got in the chime or not. You got it. Oh, there's the rod lock. And the rod lock. Blue Bear going through the weird staircase, heading to see Sarda. Variety skipping. TFC Earth. Getting hounded by the bats. The reason for the bat, or the bat guillotine, or MPC guillotine, is these bats. And I believe it was this floor that they actually moved bats into that top left room. Yes. Because there were too many bats on the floor. Yes, because it, it, it I believe it had cost a runner, and I'm sure if Phoenix is in chat, he may know the name of the runner. It cost him a race because it took him so long to get past it. Yep, Phoenix is confirming it certainly did. Yep, I don't remember which runner it was, but I know I, I was told about it. There's another Buku Bucks item. Opal Bracelet plus two to go with that gold plus five that's already been picked up. Right. Phoenix said it could have been J-Lo. Um, it might have been? I, I honestly can't remember either. Broadlock leads into Waterfall, so we are about to talk to a robot. Not Proc Gen. Sadly. Eh, well, you can't have it all. I didn't see confused old men, so I'm not, uh, you know, that's my thing. Fright Woo Bear is taking a different tack than Frighty. Frighty seems to be going for quick exploration and searching for what can be assumed to be the key and the loot, while Woo Bear has, has popped a lot more chests. Robot, what do you have today? Well, that'd be great if we could find the dwarves. TNT. Man, let's. TNT and dynamite, or TNT and adamant in hand, and dragon swords. Nice to see. If we knew we'd be facing a lot of dragons. Yep. Well, here's some arachnids that won't survive. 
So we don't know if they have nuke. Nah, I'm just kidding. This isn't a Danny seed. I have my own reputation. No, this is an Oslato seed. We have bouncing back and forth everywhere, but at least they have the, the airship and the canoe to start with. Right, eat that seven shards currently. Finds my, her uh, marsh top and says, nope. Finds C left three. Oh, all right. Going up to CC's. Nah. Nah. Okay, that's good. Aegis plus four. I'll take that every day of the week. So post promotion you have Aegis plus four, Opal plus four, Ribbon, and Opal Bonk, or Bonk plus seven. But there's a problem. We don't have the tail, and we have no idea where Bahamut's currently residing. This is true. This is true. I mean, technically, we, we just explored his normal home, and it is nowhere to be seen. Well, we didn't finish it. I mean, it it is legit possible that it is here. Just on the next floor. I'm gonna check the sex pack. I don't blame him. Looking for an X-Chest. I have to get a look at You've got Warp to quickly get back, as he tried, he did with CC. It's another flame shield. Doesn't have another character that can use it, but hey, he does have it now. Pick it up. It's really Opal Bonk. Yeah, it's, you have a, a fast bonk. Brocade plus four, you're taking that. Well, how many Opal Bonks do you need? That's a Harm shirt plus eight. I have no idea. That is the black shirt. That is black shirt. So yeah, you're definitely going to take that. Sadly, no blur things to allow the use of uh, shirts pre-promotion. They're, hey, they're absolutely was, but nobody took a black belt. And that's a bane stick. I can see it. Yeah, the, the black belt could do it, but even with a plus 10 hit percent, plus 40 HP and equip shirt, no one's taking a black belt with no trap tiles. Oh dear, another Cardia End. Uh, next box, though. Cardia End with a X box at the bottom of a Cardia Isle entrance. So There you go, and it's just close. Okay, Woo Bear finds um, our Kraken floor and is going to go take on the Kraken. I don't, I don't blame him. At this point, with the levels he's got, yeah. it's not a horrible option. No, I, I, I would agree. He's got a lot of good levels. Um, he's got great equipment. Really good equipment. Like, I'm jealous levels of equipment. And it's Rubicon. Interesting. I don't expect this to last long either. And Earth 2 on Fry Teeth's side out of Cardia Swamp. I mean, to be fair, he's got. A, they've got enough rivets. Nothing's really going to touch them at this point. Truly fascinating, the idea that elemental magic is completely useless on every party member post 25 minutes or less. Yep. And there's TFC found, but no key, so we're not going to check that chest. We are not, and lockpicking is not on, so for those that brought the thief, not helpful. Oh, oh Volcano, there's an Xbox. The Agama floor chest that's normally a grind tile location has some bones in the box. It does. Now, meanwhile, it should also be noted that just because you have the ribbon doesn't mean you're 100% safe. There's still a 3 and 256 chance. Ooh, Rubicante also swings like a champ. Took that thief right to school. Yeah, but fast and temper on a fighter with a sun sword does yeah. a lot of damage. So, Boo Bear. Over 12,000, I think. Or 1,200, I think. Boo Bear appears to be, I, I believe, 15 shards. I got a quick count. 15 or 14. I, I wasn't able to get it. I think he has three on the bottom row. Yeah, that's four shards for killing the fiend at the bottom of C, as well as what we'll get if you kill the bottom of the fiend of air. Yep. And then the fiends of earth and the fiend of fire will be worth two shards each. Yep, yep. Meanwhile, they're both on the same area now. They're both hanging out in, car in the Cardia Isles. Arsa Hags with Stinger in a pack with eight Arsa Hags. Who bear resets out, that's understandably. Just, that's a time waste right there. That's just a, a gigantic time waste. Bright Teeth avoiding going into a couple of rooms. Avoiding going to the far room. Sees nothing there. Decides, okay, here we go. 
Mermaids, this is an incentive location. And Woo Bear has Fair found chest Elflin. Has so we have not seen the item shop Woo item Bear yet. Woo Bear did not... I don't... Has Woo, Bear, has Woo Bear been to the Thane? I don't remember. Yep. Based on his magic. Yep. Okay. Doesn't have to worry about it. Didn't have anything in the item shop. Can move on. Nope. Meanwhile, these Germans, these Medusas and uh, Mancats are just being a pain. Who bears found himself the sky floor? So the big difference right now is they're both kind of checking the same thing over and over. Is Wu Bear has taken out two fiends, one of which is worth a four shard, a four shard bonus. They're even on incentive items acquired because Wu Bear has not gotten the TNT yet, and Friday does not have the bottle. But this is by no means uh, one side in the lead. This is just Friday's been focusing on different things and moving a little quicker through the map. Yeah, frighty has been focusing a lot on exploration. But... So frighty looks like he's got what, look like three rows full? And what does he get out of the chest? The cube! Okay. So opens up the cube lock. Huh? No, he's gonna get two rows full. So if Wubear has the lead in shards right now, Cube Lock is Cardia Grass, if I have my notes right. So that's a very close proximity item. Ooh. If you have and any... some juicy ha red hydras. Yeah. Well, Blue Bear, checking, checking. Finds that harm shirt. Probably wants to pick that up. Nope, not interested. Okay. Two shirts short of a full three line. Yep, so Uber. Uber definitely has the lead of shard count right now. But Ferrite has the exploration lead. Shout out to I both. Can easily made up though, because Wubear's route has just been that bit different. True. But that said, they've still been to well, just about as many places. Yep. Shout out to Ferrite for not turning on the flipping dungeons horizontally or vertically. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Don't need the brain break, and uh, he. Will we see it? You, you need to advocate for it. I, I'm, I'm, I think for, for, if Fry Teeth's in there, he'll do it. If, if, especially if Bubbles gets in the way. But you gotta remember, with the, with the new version of Alt Fiends, Bubbles will get Bubbles gets her revenge. Phoenix can attest to this. Runners have seen that Bubbles is no longer to be trifled with. Kind of like these these cat men and me. <laughs> Yeah, Wubear's making his way down into Earth 2. This Fry Teeth just getting pounded on by Catman. Man. They just a pissed off pack of furries and I, never want to get on their bad side. No, it's just not good. This is just this is just a, a beatdown. Meanwhile, Wubear finds a ruse stick that Fry Teeth did not find. That's big. He's, with, That's with, evasion stacks. That is, uh, as you say, very big. Well, considering that the HP can go up to insane levels, 300% HP. If Chaos rules a 300% HP increase, yeah, it's going to be a bit rough. Ruse did land at level 2 with Invis 2 at level 1, but if you can avoid casts, and you can put that Ruse stick on that thief. Which can. would not otherwise be able to use it. So. Alright, Chief, meanwhile. He's diving into. It's basically. They're basically flipping the. Uh, flipping the, with each other. Or he's waiting to get killed because. Save on game over is over, so who cares? Ghoul Bear, I Ooh, think. fun, expert. Yeah. It's a personal favorite spell of mine. Let three. Let two, not so much. Cruiser, that's right. Gotta get those cruiser strat, those cursor strats out there, Phoenix. You gotta use it when you have it. It's a legit strategy. Big guy uses expert and slow on this poor little black mage that just wants to die, but it just can't hit hard. There we go. Yeah, and that's the thing. Expert will remove a ribbon's protection. Just because you have a ribbon doesn't mean expert won't land. 
And Fryteeth has made his way to Elfland, which he'll just check the item shop, see nothing, heal up, and leave. Uber is going to check that top right chest, finds another Xbox, but it's already a linked chest, he knows that, walking away. Interesting that an X chest could be one of the linked chests, but hey, the fact that he knows that shows how much he knows about this game in general. And there you go, Friday with the cube, ghost the cube lock, and let's see what's there. It Melman. is... Wow. It's a beautiful looking Melman without a vampire attack. Item shop? All the stores actually exist, <laughs> and a ruby for sale. Pick well, that up for the experience only. Or, well, actually, you can find nope. potentially some X chests there. You could. Slab is on the dwarves, so... Great, when we find them, we'll be sure to ask. Meanwhile, Woo Bear is 21 across the board. Just going all hog wild on these shards. Ah, he does have Ice 3 for the Arhydrans, which will make this very quick. Oh, look, it looks like it was Provoka that got hit by the vampire. Hello, pirates. You are not a threat. Vicky is also one of the alt fiends in the beta. Sure is. Woo Bear, I want to give a big to to it. Woo Bear digs. Big shout out to Woo Bear once again for helping to keep the world refreshed. We hear a bubble soda co. Always carbonated, never flat. Well, when they find Northwest Castle, they'll be able to fight a Dark Elf King because the Vicky Pirate crew had the King's Crown. No, they won't, because Astos is shuffled. He might not be there. Oh, dear. Now, we haven't seen... More variants. Well, it could be... He could be in Lafayne. Waterfall, meanwhile, has... I can just imagine... It could be the fairy in the in the pool. That'd be hilarious. Iron goals. Iron we're already goals. seeing rock goals. Now we're seeing iron goals. The you can get this kill. These are ridiculously cool. juicy. These are great, but they are tough. Iron goals are the rare encounter in, I believe, the wind floor that I believe were actually aired out in the original game. Some fun Final Fantasy one trivia for you. Oh, they have Mute Touch. That's not good. Well, at least it didn't hit the uh, caster that actually has effective sweepers. Yep. Blue Bear getting the cube out of C. These are beefy iron goals. Giant metal golems that you have to cut with your otherwise generally metal weapons. Ooh. Uh... If you played enough Minecraft, you know how hard that can be. Sure do. Sure have it. Sure do. Meanwhile, Fire taking a nap. Maybe time to switch to uh, Harm 4 again. Oh, Fryty taking the risk on um, getting the turn order and gets it. Gets the turn order, gets the cure off, gets the life off in order. That's a gutsy play. I like it. Uber, meanwhile, having when it works, no, it works. It, true enough. Moober has no problems with the uh, the bats on the floor. They get out of his way. They know he means business. Yeah, this Iron Gold's gonna be worth a lot of XP. Just hit the Black Mage, just smack him a little, give him a slap. There we go. This, this fight is taking quite a lot of time, though. Yes. So what he gains One versus chart. how much time he's using it. So he has two. One shard, and yet behind in shard count. Yes, he has two, which would be 12, and three, which would make him at 15. Uber, on the other hand, very much in the driver's seat when it comes to shard count, but we still have not found the key, and we still have not found the loot. So, And we have checked both of the incentivized dungeons. So it has to be a turn in. So we need to find... Um, Elfland Castle we need to find. We need to find dwarves. Um, Frighty is finding greater than less than at Gaia. Runs away from a mummy whiz mummy pack. but uh, there's, a, there's a reason. They, Yeah, mummies, mummies want to end the lives of other party members. Sure do. Now, 
This being one of my rolled seeds, it would not surprise me if the Oxiel is required to get something. Like, Northwest Castle is behind, or Elfland Castle is behind the Oxiel. That would not surprise me in the least. Indeedly do. Meanwhile, Rubert, one shard away from filling up his fourth row. Oh, greater than less than a bust. Not a single solitary shard to be found. Oh, well, there's Northwest Castle. And it's a ribbon. Uh, not really a necessary no. item from the Friendly King, but there was one Xbox if you wanted to dive all the way back down there to fight it. No. Once you had the key. Probably not. No, I doubt it. Blue Bear finds the cube Blue lock. Bear, walk right through. With the cube in hand, doesn't have to go back because he just went through the islands in a different order. Yep. Very efficient. Gets to Melmond. Doesn't have the slab, so not that helpful. Says nope. Doesn't check the store, though, because he forgot, I'm assuming, that it has the store. And we've seen the sea split for Fright That's a, We haven't seen the marsh split, but here's the sea split. Sea split to the right is Earth-1. Meanwhile, Wu Bear going for Mirage. I like this play. Fire two on ass. So Wu Bear. Ooh, hero. Wu Bear is not gonna be getting the rubies, so he will not go back to TF or to Titans. Mm. If Titans turns out to be something crit, that's uh, well, that could be big. This is true. But. He 87 ribbons, yep, pretty much. Okay, so Wu Bear finds ordeals not required. Meanwhile, Fry Teeth found Gaia and pops the bottle. This could be big. Or it could be the tail. Oh, a Masa plus two! Okay. The only other Pretty incentivized big. weapon. Now, the sun versus the Masa. The Masa does just more damage. Yeah, but the sun has a higher the crit. Excal, though, at plus seven, that, if you could swing that, you just yeah. must swing it. Yeah. Put that Masa on the red mage and be happy. Yep, I would agree. Until you get to chaos, in which case it might be good to switch. Oh, here's Elflin. If you wanted them turnings. Well, he's got, he's got two of them. And there's the Oxia. Like I said, it's going to be needed. Okay, Wuber doesn't have crown, so he bonked. Doesn't really need what's there, so no. oh well. And uh, about to go down and talk to the elf prince to get the Oxiel. Have we seen Onrak, yes. though? I believe we have. We have indeed. I just don't remember where it lived. Because they're all deep. Uh, it is Titan's West. Titan's West it is. Alright, Frighty finds nothing he likes in Mirage. I don't blame him. Here we go to Ordeals. Interesting. Okay, haven't seen Ordeals yet. We're gonna check the chests in Earth Cave. I don't hate this idea. Because Wu Bear also does know where the other two fiends are. So all he's gonna do is get just enough. There's an Xbox. Six shards that are Ooh. available in two locations. It's a pack of asp and, and yep, that's the ordeals north or top south mar or uh, marsh. Yep. And that's dwarves. That's that's big. Right, he avoids the hooray dwarf. Do the smith? Does the smith give you the key? No, nope, nope. the tail. Okay, but that's useful as he has weapons galore and and armor for that matter. True, true, too true. There's the key. Okay, so that's half the battle right there. And access to the armory, which could have a lot of X chests, has two. two. That's, uh, that's enough to make a difference. Okay, so Wu Bear's checking the store in uh, in Gaia. Let's pick, get the Masa. It's definitely taking the Masa. You drop that short sword. That's useless. Grab that. That's even better. Excellent. All right. So he Novel has... and some snake and wings. Yeah, but Wu Bear just needs... Eight shards to finish his, his go. And he will eventually find... Oh, but he doesn't have TNT, does he? It's, uh... 
Waterfall had t he did go to Waterfall, so he should have yes. TNT. I imagine he should. Okay, that's good, because if he doesn't have that, we're in trouble. Yeah, I think the only thing he hasn't picked up was the, the crown. The, uh, ruby, because he didn't check the... He didn't get the crown, or and he didn't get the ruby. Okay, Frighty has found our old buddy Bahamut. Have fun, you gotta fight him. Good timing, but... And several X chests behind him, for that matter. Ooh, Bahamut swings hard. Going for the oh. four, trying to keep the and is evasive. Dodgy. Do we have lock? That's not good. Lock time. Yep, fat. Fast, yep. No lock. No white mage. Okay, that's better. But if Bahamut gets a crit, it's gonna be bad. Yep. Well, I don't want to hear it. Quad X. Does no. The quad X cheeky. No. But he's, eh, that's a long walk back for promotion. Well, Ordeals has our dragon with our horde and our promotion. Wu Bear, meanwhile, getting that key from the oh, team no, 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 no. Oh. and not even checking the two X boxes. Okay. Okay. Well, he's only he's only down two. That's not the worst thing. He can get that back. He knows where he will find. I was gonna say he does know, or we do know that there are two boxes at least with Xboxes here behind Bahamut. Yes, but that would assume he didn't check. Most ways it be if he found all the Cardias. Two and there is. Oh, that is not the trap that the spike chest you want to see. No fun, police. Yeah. No. No, bud. Oh, they're okay. They're not that bad. Oh wow, they're actually paper thin. This seed. Wow, they rolled down. How disappointing. The scaling was what seventy to three hundred or something of that nature. Something like that. I will confirm for you. Seventy to three hundred. Yes. Bosses are always at a hundred minimum. Sorry, is not a bad thing to say. They're they're pretty good. They're pretty beefy. Bear meanwhile finds Bahamut. Uh, really doesn't like that uh, that black mage at all. But he still has most of his guys up. He's lifing up the black wizard, the black mage again. Uh, oof! The helmet rolled up. Did you see that hit from that monster? That is over two thousand. Yeah. Over two thousand for this Bahamut. Wow. Quadex gonna land? No. Oh wow. Slab from Canaria Locked whenever a few incentive locations. Quadex again there. Wu Bear has his promotion. Wu Bear gets promotion as Fry Teeth heads up to talk to Professor Un. And then find his way to Lathanians to not loop loop. Yep, which I believe at this point, process of elimination. That's your that is your uh that's your loop. Indeedly do. So Wu Bear out, lifes up, houses up, and moves on. He is still eight shards out. But he does so have the key. X cow. But that slab. So you've got. He needs a slab. Picks up one more gold ring to have better gear for the party. Guys, translation of Wooberry, meanwhile. Where are you off to? Kill has the key. If he goes to Crescent and checks or Cardia, which he is, he's gonna get the slab. Yep, so he is gonna be in a good position. And he does still have the shard count lead. Alright, keep meanwhile back into the Hall of Dragons. Now he doesn't now one thing he doesn't have, he doesn't have the ruby. He never checked the Melman Shaw. Because normally it is burned to the ground. But he will check these chests here. And with his party the way they stand right now, nothing's really going to stand his way. Fun police or no, I don't think that that's going to matter. Ooh, that's a good pack of gas D's, though. That's tempting. Right, 
Frosty. The Hall of Dragons has a hidden secret, though, that uh, our runners are well aware of. Yep. You can find Tia in there. Sure can. Tia 1, not Tia 2, but Tia can show up in that Hall of Dragons. Sure does. Had it happened to me before. Ah, there's Astos. It had to be the last pack. It did. And Woo Bear is in go mode once he turns in that slab because he is six shards away and knows where six shards are in the form of fiends. Would not surprise me if he's heading that way now. This is where taking notes does matter. No, he's gonna check what's not under he's the checking? oxy ale. Interesting. We've not seen this from Fry Teeth. I haven't seen this at all. Oh, it feels bad. It's a dead end. It is an easy -ish, quick ish check to make, and it didn't pan out. Meanwhile, Frank Teeth's going to take his revenge on that pack of waters. I don't blame him. Freezing water tends to immobilize it. Usually, usually. The worry is, if you put enough chunks of ice in the flowing water, it could also do enough damage before they uh, stop moving. Question in chat with Fiend Shuffle. Does Tia stay in the Hall of Giants? Yes, she does, because it shuffles the Fiends, but as Tia is a dragon type, it doesn't shuffle that. So, yep, there'll always be a Tia hanging out in there. So even with alt fiends on, I believe it's still... Mm, actually, no, with alt fiends on, it probably removes Tia. So, no, you won't see Tia in there. Fiend shuffle, yes. Some alt fiends, no. Some very interesting, weird quirks of how the randomizer shuffles and does things. But Wu Bear about to fight a dark elf king who's been masquerading as an old recluse forest person that's a descendant Did of it? an ancient race of hyper advanced scientists. Did it just say Kubo? A giant working war machine in the sky. Did it just did, did Astro just say Kubo? Did it, okay, fine. Okay, but Wu Bear is promoted and can now access all the magic he likes. The log may be reviewed for that question and to be answered, but yeah. Finding Dark Rack gonna find Lock 2. We have there are magic that is not here. The Gaia and Onrack continent or Gaia and Onrack shops. So they've not seen all the six and seven magic. They have not. At this point, they don't care. He does so he did see he, what's a Tia. He did say Kupo. He says Kupo, Lali Ho, then uh, Mugu Mugu. So, that's great. That is, uh, that's at least two Final Fantasies listed there. Uber, meanwhile. Frighteeth is going after Carry uh, as Wubear is in the volcano <laughs> slash sky going after Tia. Tia turns out to be... Okay, Shiva, you're not supposed to be there. That's the wrong place. Astaroth and Shiva for Tia and Kerry. Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think Astaroth's gonna live that long. Mm, okay, once again, can roll up. Should remind everybody that our toe for tonight is short. With we fight all fiends, so we're gonna see the, the, all these fiends again. Guaranteed. Alright, fry teeth done, woo bear done. Different orbs are lit. Wu Bear needs to go to the right, Frighteeth needs to go to the left, and uh, they'll, they're both going to be in go mode. Frighteeth managed to make up that many shards that quickly? Impressive. I, I believe so. He's, it's either made up or maybe a shard short. Ooh, hope not a shard short. So here we go. Flippin' flippin'. And Blue Bear done! That should give him a full set. 
on to T or Toph, which is Canary Castle. Which is great because you can from all those that we remember from the beginning of this entire thing. <laughs> which is good though because you get a nice rest beforehand, which Blueberry doesn't just pops the. Pops the all right. So you uh, know they said this was going to be an hour flag, right? You did um. 50, it actually looks like it might be. 51.43. Woo Bear's in. Fast coming out. Nuclear from Leviathan. Woo Bear trying the, trying the cruiser, a mouse cruiser strat. See if that works for him. And it does. No, Fryteeth needs shards. That's why he is going into Mirage to grab Swirl from Shiva. That makes sense. Painful, but not unavoidable. Bye bye. Right, he's the rock goals. Yeah. Not as bad as the iron goals, let's be fair. Blue Bear just. blazing through this. Right, he did not fight Kraken. That's what's the difference here in the yards. Oh, Rubicon has nuke! That's fun. And is dodgy. Did we see lock at all, or did they pick a lock up at all? They did not pick lock up. I have not seen anyone cast it. Rubicon. I think lock two was at level eight in Gaia. Right. Or in uh, Lafayne. Boo Bear bounced. Due to a really, really bad run. Speed and power on the Leviathan, that's for sure. Oh dear. Bane coming out, but who cares? We got ribbons. More than we more than we will ever need ever again. Thank you. Thank you, Phoenix. Now looking forward to the potential future, do we have a shuffled fiend or final boss? No, no, we or do not. Are we guaranteed chaos? We are guaranteed this will be chaos. There is no alt final boss. I, I, I checked that when they sent me the seeds because I really want to know. And now Prytheath is in fact in go mode, gets that last shard out of the ice cave and will join Wu Bear. Noting Prytheath is not promoted. Nope. So that is a vanilla mo or, uh, fighter, but with a Masa. Indeed. Okay, here comes old Rubicon. Starts with Nuke. And it low rolls. It low rolls. That is that is good news for Wu Bear. Bad news is it's coming again. Swing. There he's past Rubicont. As Frighteeth enters Leviathan, going on the right side, gonna face the same fiends, gets through Leviathan, did check the chests in Topher, found a Cat's Claw plus seven, said nope, don't care, and moved on. Doesn't have the Thief, which would have been nice. Plus seven is pretty good for the Cat's Claw. Meanwhile, Astaroth, version two. Ooh, he's got some, he's got some Absorb. He says, I don't like that Red Wizard, he's gonna, he's gonna take a nap. Okay, Astros might have rolled up in health. Trying for the cheeky Quad X. Quad X. No, more than 300 left. Okay, that was 930. That Quad X should probably land this time. I. Uh, doesn't matter. That's Wu Bear through, but that's Wu Bear without any white caster from life magic. So he is three manning into chaos. As meanwhile, Nuke Ooh. lands on Fright, he said. That's low. But everyone stays alive. Now, the only thing is, Wu Bear does have much better weaponry. Sticking with the X Cal 7. Okay, I like that. It's got a great amount of blursing behind it. Roostick, Temper, Fast. Fast comes out. Temper comes out. Uh oh! <laughs> that is expert landing. That ribbon, useless. Meanwhile, Frighty has made it through Rubicon, so there's a high or a good chance that he can catch up if this chaos proves to be okay. painful. Woober does have lock two at level eight. But not many charges. 
four charges. This will be charge number three. Swing with that Masa Forge for 692. Nuclear coming out! Okay, it takes out the ninja, but the fighter survives. So does the Black Wizard. Never mind. Okay, Chaos is swinging now. That's okay. But if Chaos has a ton of health and we have not seen Cure 4... Never mind! Terminate it! There it is. Get your GGs out in chat for your winner. And still, champion of the Lafanian Ladder, it is Wu Bear with another win. Let's get him in here. Just straight up impressive. We are joined in the booth by Wu Bear at GGs. Ah, GGs. Well, you did it again, Wu Bear. You are still champion. How do you feel? Uh, good. A little scary in the end. Uh, the Topher kind of bounced me a little bit, but wouldn't, wouldn't do bad the second time. No, the, the, yeah, the uh, the first one was a very high roll nuke on the Mister Mister Rubicunt, which was not very fun. The Rubic the Rubicunt uh, nuke rolled on Fry Teeth as well, but he survived it too. Uh, unfortunately, you had to go in without your uh, your red mage, so no white magic at all, no life, no nothing. Yeah, it was just the thief and the fighter. And I figured I needed the temper charges, plus the black mage headlock at level 8. But it was mostly the temper charges that I was like, no, I can't. Uh, maybe, but it's not worth trying. That uh, that lock at level 8 was probably a very good purchase. Yeah, yeah, with, with the scaling so high, I think up to 300% or something Correct. like that. It, it, um, yeah, <laughs> it can be really brutal. Yes. It's like probably my favorite spell in the game. Um, for these high scaling lock, lights. Lock. Lock is a great spell. Don't sleep on lock. Um, were you a little afraid when Chaos hit your uh, knight with Exfer? No. A little bit. Because, <laughs> I mean, we were watching this and it was ribbon, X Cal, X Cal, ribbon, ribbon. Would you like another ribbon? How about some ribbons? <laughs> and more exhales? Sure, why not? Yeah, lots of that. Yeah, you guys had a lot of fun stuff. And there it is! Fried teeth. And we're joined in the booth by Fry Teeth. Well, sir, you guaranteed us a sub hour seed. You both produced, so my hat's off to both of you on that. Yeah. Yeah. Th these are fast. You, you. <laughs> we were a bit confused at first when you both ended up with a bunch of ribbons until we read the seeds a second <laughs> time. It's like, oh, he turned on super high wealth. That's what did it. Yeah, the first one of these I ran, I ended up with like five vorpals. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just the best day ever, is it not? If they're plus eight, were they plus eight? They were like plus five. Still good. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. So yeah, that's how nice was it to find so many fiends so fast? Mm -hmm. Uh, that's good. I just mark it down and come back later because that's you know twelve. Or whatever uh, charge total, so cuts down on, especially with like no magic, cuts down on doing those uh, trap boxes. Yeah, which a lot of the other ones were like really rough. So, so felt bad. I went ahead and pulled up all your all the fun out of this seed. Um, so Leviathan had the nuclear. We all saw that. Um, Shiva two actually had absolutely nothing but swirl frost scorch and scorch. Um. Rub uh, Rubicont had two nukes in the pool. Gross. Uh, along with uh, damage and stone poison. Astaroth had... A lot of, uh, a lot of evade too, that guy. Ooh, yeah. Uh, his evade was actually... Yeah, his agility was 173. Yeah. Higher than anyone except for Chaos. Uh, that Astaroth had nuke, cure four, and two nuclears in the pool. Jeez. As well <laughs> but as, I didn't see much of those. As well as Blaze and Tornado, Chaos himself, um, Exfer, Fast, Brack, Swirl, Nuclear, Crack, and Blaze. So that's too bad. Well, I mean, the Exfer did land on uh, on Wu Bear's side, so that was one of those moments because that ribbon is now just a pretty hairpiece. Oh, uh, true. I'm gonna be honest. I thought Exfer lowered your defense. I <laughs> didn't realize it stripped the ribbon. Nope. It removes. All of your <laughs> elemental resistances. 
Whether they're yeah. inherit or not, they are gone. Because it works the same against Chaos. You can remove all of his resistances to status, time, death, yeah. all of them gone. So it's, it's a 3 and 256 or whatever? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it restores it back to 3 and 256 as opposed to, you know, not going to work ever. But that was, was very, very entertaining. Um, yeah. So how about the, how about that Bahamut? I was gonna say that so that was the big difference. One of the huge differences. Wu Bear made it through the Bahamut fight, got the promotion, equipped all the fun, all the X Cal's galore. Uh, unfortunately for IT, you uh, Bahamut bodied you just, and and he was deep too. And an ordeal. Yeah, I, I knew I knew it was gonna take too long to go back down and find him again. It was, I mean, I think it was uh, Thavian that pointed out this might have been just a siege to just take a whole bunch of fighters. Yeah. <laughs> if you get two through fighters, the, uh, the two thieves, post promotion, you have your black and white magic, you've got Excals, you've got Masa and Katana. <laughs> Can you check the HP on that guy, by the way, out of curiosity? What would you like to know of HP? Uh, the Bahamut. Bahamut? Bahamut. One yeah. second. Because I hit him. Yep. A lot. <laughs> and he, he was he still standing. 3,264 HP, which, believe it that or not, sense. is more than uh, every fiend in Topher. By a lot, by a margin. Yeah. Astaroth had 3,210. That was your closest. Chaos had less. Chaos only had 2,150. Yeah, I was surprised when I, when I killed him there. Um, didn't take too many swings, so it was, it was very nice. No, but uh, finding that uh, fast bonk, probably a very big, big thing. Yeah, that was huge. Um, yeah. Just Although you got... fast was only level four. Yeah. Cor correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, the thing was, Nuke was uh, way up there at level eight. Level eight slot four. So that wasn't getting seen. Or yeah, just in general, the magic was really, really bad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Thanks. It's... It's one of those things. Um, I had assumed that both of you took the fighter because it came with elemental magic, so you were guaranteed at least a sweeper. Because you didn't no, have one at first. With, like, the gear on, you kind of got to take a fighter. There's so much um, good gear that he can get through on. I, I, have, he's... I have to give a shout-out to you, Woo Bear. Thank you for carbonating bubbles. And... Yeah, I, I looked and I saw there was no things, but I'm like, ah, she's getting it anyways. Much appreciated. Um... <laughs> now the one thing that did shock me I, I think it was because of the way the flags were fry teeth the, the, the black belt king not taking the black belt with a plus 10 hit percent no these are not black belt flags they, no you definitely did not design a black belt uh, flag set sir I mean yeah I didn't there was no trap tiles um, yeah. no the encounter rate I checked after the fact was very, very low. low very very low I appreciated that. Thank you. <laughs> After doing the Lovanian ladder stuff, with, they're like all like thirty. It's like ah no. Is that, 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 that that's basically saying Ao puts his seeds very very high for encounter rates. <laughs> now you did mm -hmm. lower them as our current champion at midway. You did have the option to lower them, and you did. I think in the dungeons by six. Yeah. Uh, well, I anything above six went to six, which I think yeah. was only like three of them. And, and I appreciated that. I think we all I did. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if Ale is hanging out in the room, but I'm sure he, this will get to his ears at some point. He's not here, so you can say what you want. Yeah, I, I love the flag sets. Just sometimes you're in a dungeon, it's like encounter, 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 encounter. Like, please just stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't, that, I don't want to. That uh, that could definitely be a problem, especially when you're, uh, yeah, especially when you're deep in there and. Ale did not put save on game over on a lot of his flags. You guys did, which again, gradually, uh, not, not a bad thing. Yeah, I don't think I made use of that too much, or if at all, the seed. Although I did reset out of uh, something and then Be forgot wise. that I didn't have the thing and had to go back and get the thing to do this. Yeah, it was stupid of me, but. <laughs> Fry teeth, <laughs> Other uh, than me, I don't... definitely did. Go ahead. Definitely. Yeah. Did. It's okay. really good because you get all your, your spells back and you get everything. And the, only thing, the only thing you don't get is consumables. You will not get those back. Mm -hmm. Bear, just for your uh, just for you, um, you never found the shop item. Oh, yeah. It was in Melmond, and it was the ruby, so it was uh... pointless. <laughs> Melmond. Uh, what was it? The ruby? ruby? It was the ruby. Yeah, which okay. wasn't really. Now, Friday, I believe... Totally forgot about Melmond. I believe you bought it 
probably for the XP boost as well in case you needed those extra shards. Um, it was more in case I needed to extra go shards. check those four chests. Yeah, we we did we did figure that. Never saw the war mech. Saw everything else. So a lot of ribbons, a lot of X cows. That was three X cows and at least five ribbons because I think the kindly king Astos wanted to give you one. Didn't say, no. Yeah, I reset out of that because I already had four of them. Yep, at that point they're kind of kind of moot. So, dual wield uh, fighter win. <laughs> I guess I guess the question is for you, Rubert. You have once again maintained your crown. Um, who's next in the line to challenge you? I don't know. No one's no one's pinged me yet. Oh, d d you say that now. I guarantee you, by the end of this interview, <laughs> someone is going to say. I would like a shot at your crown. Is it once a week, or is it like I just it's have to it's, accept, it's like once, I'll accept them any other way? But it's you have to if you get challenged. I believe the rule is one per week is a, is a mandatory. Okay. You must take that challenge. Right. I don't mind playing either way, so it's no. fine. But I just it's curious. For it for yourself, um, you're still. I believe you you keep your opal rank. Yeah. So I guess now it's just looking below you and seeing if anyone's coming after you next. Yeah, we'll see. We, you know, took one down last week, but you, you never know who's going to show up and true, true. you know, what, what kind of flags they're going to send you. Cause I mean, there's a few things I won't play, but. Ooh, you know. tell me. Huh? <laughs> Spill the tea. Which ones? Oh, I, I don't do, I don't do proc gen overworld and I don't do hidden flags. Yeah. Oh, you never do it. You never do a dark, dark flag set. I mean, I I can do them. The, you know, it's, it's I'd probably be good at them because it's you know basically a puzzle to figure out. I just don't enjoy them. No, the, I I and that's I've... And, and that's my goal is to try and make things fun. You know, you know, black belt flags are definitely my strength, but grinding a black belt isn't always my favorite thing to do. No, a seed like this where you're finding plus six gear everywhere you turn. That's fun. Ending at, you know, characters at level 30, that that's fun. No, this so. was actually a very entertaining race to watch. No question about that at all. I had a, I had a, had a great time, uh, a great time calming this, especially when we finally figured out where are all the ribbons coming from? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun getting, like, a, a whatever, plus eight, like a silver dagger. And it's like, oh, this end game better than most other weapons and most other flag sets. This is great. Very true. Well, Fabian, is there anything you'd like to ask our two uh, Athenian League runners? Honestly, all I can say is the mind-bending speed at which you achieve this run is mm. impressive. Just like sub-hour with this craziness. Thank you. Yes, I... I yeah, like I said, it was promised a sub-hour, and you both delivered it bang on. So, I guess with that, we shall... Move into final thoughts. Wubear, final thoughts from our still champion. For now, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I just, I'm really enjoying this uh, this uh, tournament, I guess. Not really tournament, ladder, you know. Ladder. Uh, league. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. I've really been enjoying this league. It's been a lot of fun. So um, thank you to everyone who's been setting it up, Ale and Dark Moon, and you guys doing the talkies and whatnot. It's been great. Yeah. Um, and also shout out to Chan again behind the scenes. I know he's doing some work. I know he did some work on this stuff. Too. Yeah, I'm sure I miss people. I'm sorry, but yeah, everyone, everyone involved, you're all awesome. All right, very good. Fry Teeth, still an Opal, no champion yet, but the future is bright. Final thoughts? Yeah, sure. I'll echo the same thing. You know, thanks to everyone for doing this. You know, hopefully we'll see everyone again in a couple of weeks at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Um. And then after that, it's time to look forward to uh, co-op. Ah, uh, yes, co-op is coming. Let's get you, you can and bingo sign. somewhere in there too, right? What's yep. that? Bingo's bingo is coming as well. well. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah, I wish I could. Wish I could do that this summer, but can't. Yeah, bingo and co-op are the next major, uh, major tournaments coming on the horizon. Looking forward to both. Davian, what are your final thoughts, Mike Ocoms? 
I don't think I could come close to matching either of you, so I'm going to stick to the booth for a while. <laughs> I That, and thank you, RPG Limerick. I meant to say RPG Limerick fans at the start of this, and I went to Final Fantasy Randomizer. It feels bad. I li- we, we do this live, so, I mean, you know what? It does happen. It does happen. I will say this. Uh, once again, a huge thank you to, as my co-com Stavian said, our VG in my break for letting us host here. Coach Pirate, thank you for tracking. Very, very, very helpful. Good to have you around. Um, Davian Hawk, always, uh, always good to have you in the booth with me, my friend. Love calming with you. It's a good time. To Woo Bear and Frighty, thank you for a very entertaining run and some really great flags that had some of us scratching our head. Uh, as as things have been pointed out, there um, this is the Lafanian ladder. You can still sign up. You can always join and run some flags, challenge some people, see where you end up at the end. I will give um, a nod over to our upcoming co-op tournament. That's right. If you and a friend want to get involved, you want to play some FFR together, of course you do. Who doesn't? So it's a fun time. Signups are now open, and hey, if you want to play but you don't have anyone to play with, we have a co-op looking for looking for party. You can head on down there, put your name in, and see who's out there you can get matched with. That's right. Signups are now open. By all means, give yourself a fun time. I can't wait. I'm signed up this year. I have the Kraken O's are going to make their debut this year. I'm looking <laughs> forward to this. It's the best format. It's so much fun. I absolutely. absolutely adore two v two. I, I cannot wait. This will be my this will be my first year. I'm highly looking forward to this. I also got to give a shout out on FFR one tomorrow night, nine p.m. Eastern time. That's right. It's the OJ Power Hour. We're back again. We have the Duckling Supreme coming on. That's right. Roger McBain has agreed to come on. And talk about his talk about their experience with the randomizer, with the Duckling Derby, being our newest champion. It's going to be a great time. Hope to see you all there. Um, yeah. With that, I don't think there's much left to say except that once again, huge thank you, huge shout out to everybody. I have been Ozlodo, and I will see you in the next round.